Hey everyone, welcome back. So today, we're going to be turning some junk circuit boards. You can find in just about anything you tear apart. And hopefully, cutting them and being able to make like little pendant keychain things. Yeah, I tend to collect lots of weird things for potential projects and whatnot. So this came out of a controller for like an old computer joystick. I have no idea what that's from. I think this actually came out of a hard drive. And just some other random electronics that were no good that I saved the guts out of. Some of these older style are just like a single, I don't know what call them, single sided. Circuitry actually is translucent, so some of that stuff can actually be made to like have a backlight. But uh, the goal today is to use one of these hole saws. Hopefully, that'll make a nice hole through that without having to make too much of a mess and sanding and all that stuff. So, with further ado, let's set her up and drill and. See what kind of mess we can make. round cut. I was thinking I have to sand it down so it's flat on the back but uh, it should work. I'm gonna do that for a couple of them and I would recommend definitely wearing a respirator doing this because the dust that comes off of this it's probably equivalent to some kind of like fiberglass you know you don't want to be breathing that dust in and it's very fine coming off of that stuff so yeah don't uh, don't be breathing that in this one is kind of cool because it's translucent. I'll have to show you the one that I made out of some old circuit boards and just basically a piece of wall art. So it's like, even though it's junk, you can still make it look cool if that's your thing. And that's my thing. So let's do this thing. Let's go. same thing. I would say one tip is let the blade do the work. I mean it doesn't take much for it to cut through but if you really crank down on it it's going to crack the board and then you're going to have a split in the middle of your piece. Alright, so we got all our little discs cut out. Now I'm just going to take some uh, 80 grit sandpaper coarser the better because you're not going to see the back you just want to be able to get rid of all the high spots and like this stuff here just get it flattened out and you probably have to go around the edges so that it fits in our little pendant thing wherever I put that and I'm just going to use a little bit of this is wet dry paper but use a little water just to keep the dust down because you don't want to be breathing that stuff in So I got all the back sanded down. 
this one's gonna be a little bit of a problem probably it's actually kind of high on both sides a little tall I might be able to grind it down some I don't know but the rest of them are all pretty fat flat and that's the top this was the back side the copper actually started to show through when I was sanding it so even though I have a couple of those boards that have no components on them like this guy, those are just some surface melt resistors, but I actually really like the look of that copper coming through on the circuit board, so I might actually cut out a couple more and do that, but now I'm just going to sand the edges so that they fit inside of that guy, and I got a whole bag of these that are different colors and stuff, so once I get that done, we can go to the gluing stage. with the translucent uh, like the single layered circuit boards just an idea for other um, things you might want to try all right so I got these all cleaned up just use a little bit of rubbing alcohol cleaned them off now I'm just kind of figuring out what how I want these positioned and also what colors I'm gonna use the silver, the I guess you'd call that bronze, and then just uh, like a black, off, pewter color maybe. That one's a little bit in between, but I'm gonna figure that out. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them using some uh, medium adhesive here, and then I'm debating if I want to try and coat the top of these with like a clear coat sealer. Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. Did a little test piece on this guy. I touched it while it was still a little bit wet, so that's why it looks like it's all kind of scuffed up. But it feels like a, like a rubbery coating. The only thing I don't like about it is it almost like shrinks in the middle. The outer edge is a little bit higher. And when I put that on, it actually was above that uh, LED so it even though it looks like it's gonna be fairly thick it dries really thin to some degree anyways and then I was also thinking about trying some UV resin uh, only problem is this stuff I don't know if I trust it or not I, the last time I used it it didn't dry fully for like a week or more I want to first I put it on with the light it wasn't like it was runny but it was very very tacky and I don't know if it's because the light that I was using wasn't strong enough or if this stuff has like a shelf life it's at this point probably a couple years old now so I don't know if it's that's the problem or not I mean how much of this stuff sits in a warehouse how do you know how old it is there's no date on it so I have a different light here, I'm going to try like a little test piece somewhere. This one just plugs into like a USB uh, char phone charger thing. I'm going to go ahead and sort these out, glue them down, and then test my resin out, and then we'll come back to the finish. that bent one that I had so I'm gonna sacrifice this for the test gods fire and hole the arm that's on this light is about as worthless as can be it's like I want to touch it but I don't know if it's even Ah, oh, geez, that's hot. <laughs> that 
is hot AF. Yeah, it actually feels like it's not even tacky. That actually worked out really good. Maybe I'll test it on this one because I I don't really like the way this this one's just kind of honestly boring. I don't know, there's not off of something, just enough to give me a flat surface to test out this. spot there obviously but so you know it feels tacky now I just put fingerprints on it but it doesn't even feel as hot as this one was if you're comfortable with using the UV resin then knock yourself out I think it would probably look okay I mean it does I mean the shine is cool I guess but a little bit of dimension to it I'm gonna use this one it's pretty flat, so it'll give it a little bit more dimension. We'll have to see how that dries. I mean, the stuff goes on relatively easy. So now we just wait. Three hours later. All right, it's been a few days actually since I set this to dry. Oh, it's got a weird spot right there, but overall I think it looks pretty decent. But you can see it, it's not quite as high as when you first poured it. It's pretty, uh, shrinks down quite a bit, but I think it looks pretty good. And then, this was the resin one. See, it's been like three days since I've done this and it's tacky. I don't get it. <clears throat> this one, did it the exact same way, it's fine. So I don't know if there's just an inconsistency in that resin. You can see this is the one with the Mod Podge. That's just the resin. It's just... A little bit more there but really you can see right touch it with my fingerprints because it's sticky and it looks like garbage so it's trash but this actually looks decent I don't know how long that'll hold up it's just kind of a rubbery plastic coating but it's got a nice shine seals it up good looks decent I am pleased with this more than the resin plus it's you just let it set and it does its thing you don't have to worry about trying to cure it and I didn't really do anything else with these this one actually gets cleaned up a little bit but I might go ahead and seal the rest of these up with the Mod Podge since that turned out fairly good all right well we'll see how these turn out stay tuned That's actually the first one I did. Nice glossy finish. Even though it's not, you know, spherical across the top, I actually like the fact that it kind of sticks out so it's more noticeable. I really like it. Hey, what are you doing over there? Ah, get over here. Alright, step back. So this is the end of the video, hopefully you guys liked it, maybe it'll give you a little inspiration to making something for yourself. This one I put a little keychain on, turned out pretty good. I just threw this one on the uh, leather shoelace, it doesn't really match that much but you know, just kind of gives you an idea. 
just use what you got. So that's what I do. I got junk and I'm gonna use it. So until next time, keep on junking or stay junky. No, don't be a junkie. Do what you love, because that's what I do. See you guys later.